All right. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Heather and on this channel we like to walk a very fine line between a shopping addicted makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now I really enjoy eyeshadow singles, duo chromes, multi chromes, blush, highlight, lip gloss, basically everything except press glitter and today today we're going to do a video talking about the palettes that will bring you into your villain era. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick with me, we're getting into it right now. So I guess the other name that I could give this video would be like palettes that are cool toned, dark, grungy, um, but villain era really I think sums that up nicely. So I wanted to just kind of run through some of the different palettes that I thought of when I thought about doing this and kind of tell you about those. Now I guess I'll start off by talking about the palette that kind of sparked my idea for this which was this rogue palette now nothing says villain era like being an actual villain in a game right um and fantasy cosmetica does all of their palettes based on um like character roles in games and this one definitely kind of screamed out to me that like villain type uh grungy dark kind of color story you do have a couple of lighter shades these two right here but they're they're not the majority, right? And you do need something to kind of blend everything out, but I think everything else in here really screams that grungy, grungy vibe, so I had to include that. The other recent palette that I wanted to include was Glamlight Chucky, like, of course, because he's an actual villain too, right? But this super, like, smoky purple with, like, some pops of burgundy reds really, really gives you that same vibe. There is a look with this palette up on my channel if you're interested in checking that one out. Um, but yeah, this... I mean, of course, this will take you right into your villain era. There is a palette duo that I think works well together for this prompt, um, which is this duo right here. It's the Give Beauty Danger Zone quad, and then the Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette in Bronze Bliss. And this one, if you see, has like a really pretty matte black, and then just a bunch of kind of like sparkly shades here. And I think when you combine that, with this set of neutrals it gives you that cool toned smoky vibe you've got beautiful metallics to share there i think that one works pretty well if you're a neutral lover that's otherwise kind of afraid of some of the other things i'm suggesting so then the other neutral palette that i think works well for this um, would be the lorac pro noir which is actually going to be on sale for ulta's 21 days of beauty so if you missed this one before maybe now is your chance to pick it up and specifically like this kind of area over here like these shades here these shades here this nice black i think these work really really nicely for kind of that grungy villainous type cool tone smoky eye which is a lot of what inspires what i have in front of me so if you were interested in trying lorac's formula again i would definitely give this one a try it is fire and then there's a mini version too where'd my mini one go <laughs> Mini Lorac, where did you go? Oh, there you are. If you want like the teeny teeny mini version, the Mystic Oak is also a nice one. Um, and it looks like this. Again, great for a cool toned smoky eye, which is, I think, the quintessential villain era eye look. All right, if you're over in the UK, this will be easier to pick up, but this is the Unique Beauty Dark Souls palette. This was part of their holiday collection, and it looks like this, like these smoky kind of gray tones, and then you've got the the kind of pop of the light blue I think is quite nice. I'm sorry, I keep looking in my viewfinder, and all my shades are backwards, and my brain is not big enough to handle that. But yeah, this I think is a really beautiful palette. And then you've got this really nice sparkly black shade here, which I think just adds to the, the intrigue of that smoky toned eye. If you're wanting something a little easier to get in the US, the other way you could go about that eye look would be the Thunder palette from Colored Rain, which is interesting because the lenticular image on it is lightning, not thunder. But who are we to judge? This cool toned blue smoky look would be fire for your villain era obviously i love this like sparkly black here you've got some really beautiful deep shades and you've got a lot of variety that you can kind of pick between um, and then there are some really nice inner corner highlights that i think would work on any skin tone so i think this one would work really really beautifully I have a couple things from ColourPop, of course, because keeping up with ColourPop, so we'll do their stuff next. Uh, the Wine and Only would be like the beautiful 
red Villanera. And then of course you can see the next one up on the agenda here is, or kid you not, which looks like this. And I do think both of those would be very beautiful for kind of a deep grungy kind of smoky eye because there's so much depth in both of those palettes. Very, very nice palettes indeed. The Star Wars Darth Vader palette would be another classic to pull from. Again, just lots of smoky, rich red tones. It actually kind of reminds me of the Glam Light Chucky palette, especially with like these shades here and this kind of black with red sparkles because there's something quite similar in the Chucky palette. But then you do get the addition of this bronze shade here and then a brighter red, which the Chucky palette doesn't have. And I th think it's a little cheaper. And then the last one I wanted to include, nope, second to last I wanted to include from ColourPop was the Troublemaker palette. This one has this really pretty kind of grungy mauve berry kind of thing, but everything is a little bit gray toned. I think it looks absolutely beautiful on the eyes. This would make a great palette for your villain origin story. And then last, of course, I wanted to promote my Aurora Struck palette because I do really, really, really like this palette. And although the entire thing is not super grun, well, I mean, you have a couple pastels in here, so I'll say that those shades are not grungy. Everything else is quite grungy. This row in particular would be an amazing, amazing smoky eye. So I would highly, highly recommend doing something like that. You could also work in some of these like blues or deep plummy shades. I think that would make a great, great smoky eye look. All right, let's talk a little bit more grunge and then we'll go back into color, a little bit of color. This uh, 669 palette from Martine Cosmetics I think is another great example. Now, as I've told you guys before, their multi-chrome formula is not my absolute favorite. I think there are some other brands that do better multi-chromes, but I do think this palette has a lot of great black and metallic type shades that would make perfect grungy kind of looks. Obviously you have two blacks here that are just mattes. You've got some deeper grays. You've got this kind of sparkly satin black, this super glittery black, and then this like gunmetal metallic gray. Perfect. Perfect colors for this particular situation. And then I did also want to show these two palettes. This is the Pat McGrath Labs. Uh, what is this? Oh God. This is, I think, the first Mothership. And then Night and Day is the Revolution dupe for this palette. So I'll see if I can show you both of them at the same time to make my life a little bit easier. There's your two color stories. Obviously they look quite, quite similar, but either one of those would kind of meet this prompt of like villain era palettes. And I dug a big hole in the metallic beige shade, which thank God is the most boring shade in the palette. All right, now I think we're ready to kind of hop into a little bit of color. I have the Ace Beauté Paradise Fallen palette, which is just this really beautiful, smoky, kind of purpley, grapey tones. I think this would make great, smoky, deep, dark kind of eye look. Why am I dropping everything today? I don't know. Oh, thank God it didn't break. So, smoky, deep, dark, purple, perfect for this particular prompt. Had to include it in this video. And then the two Glam Light and Scooby-Doo palettes I had to include as well. This one is less, kind of less of that vibe, right? But this one for sure is like 100% villain era vibes right there. It just is. Uh, I'll take no questions or arguments. <laughs> And then I did want to include the Bella Beauté Bar Strange and Unusual palette, which of course is the Beetlejuice themed palette that they put out. This is a really gorgeous palette and it looks like this, but you just got, you've got smoke, you've got grunge, you've got depth, you've got a really pretty sparkly black here, which does show up very nicely. You've got some really nice pops of color to kind of bounce off of that. I think this completely works for your billionaire. And then I think everything else is pretty much indie brands at this point, the most popular of which, or the most well-known of which, would be the Mel Muerte palette. Of course, this is the one that got away for a lot of people, but they did recently restock it, so if you were able to get it, I hope you are in love with it if you've been waiting for it for a super long time, but I think this is a gorgeous color story. You have beautiful, beautiful smoky tones here in the center, which would work absolutely perfect for this particular um, prompt, if you will. And the Shroud Cosmetics Moonfall palette, they did to kind of expand on the Moonfall matte collection. This is probably one of the most colorful 
maybe second most colorful palettes that I pulled for this particular prompt but I think because you still have a lot of depth and the colors that are metallic are still pretty dark and smoky like especially this night song shade it just still works it still works at least for me couldn't talk about grunge and smoke and depth without talking about the Odin's Eye Giant Wolves palette from Annette's Makeup Corner, which looks like this. And this is super grunge, super smoky, super beautiful. I absolutely think it works well. And you've got the addition of this beautiful multi-chrome here. So all of those things together, I think really, ooh, let me not blind the camera, really make this a perfect palette for your villain era. And then the second to last one, this is the Temptalia and Sydney Grace Quintessence palette. This is the light version. Yeah, the light version. But I think the beautiful like gray tones that you have in here with this black, got this really nice kind of sparkly silver, the Milky Way is kind of like a frosty eggplant with like blue shimmer in it, which I think is also very pretty. This palette would make a gorgeous smoky grungy eyeshadow look. So absolutely I wanted to include it here. And then last, but certainly not least, it would not be one of my videos without talking about Nomad Cosmetics. So I had to include this one. This is the Verona Amor y Muerte, Muerte palette, which looks like this. And obviously this pink side is a bit more um, bright, light, colorful, but this nine pan right here is like villain era to the max. Like this is 100% you understood the assignment. You know what I'm saying? And with that said, I think that is everything for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in a comment down below what are some palettes in your collection that you feel like would be perfect for coming into your villain era. I would really like to know. Again, I thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!